With me being a genius, I decided to get, well, the demo of a dating sim. I'm gonna buy the full one eventually because it won't let me date all of the, all of the circle. But, I'm going to be playing this one again. I've gone through a few routes already, but yeah, whatever. Welcome to the Dial Town that found dating some demo. Answer his question. Alright, what's your name? That's mine. How rude. Mm, nope, don't like that response. Front head. <laughs> well, I'd rather be a phone than a dog. My grace burners remind me where I paid my old red six any given time. Please reevaluate your life choices. Hmm, <laughs> English ink words. Ferrets in a trench coat. Um. Oh, what? Uh huh. Why is it like that? Huh. Questionnaire. Who questions the hound? Thanks, Daddy Dog. <laughs> Alright then, get out of my sight. Ugh. This game is great, by the way. Hmm. Hmm. You sinful creature. Seems I'm alive again. Gone. I hate when I do that. Hmm. My non-specific reproduction organs are firm and r what? I don't like having to read that over and over again. Must be getting ready to hatch. Time for reproduction as well. Must have a dark, dank pit to lay my eggs in. Fairground. Fairground is dark, dank, and greasy. What kind of full surprise of carnival food nearby? Yes. I must go to the carnival. <laughs> okay. Oh? That's terrifying! <laughs> I don't. Ugh. It's terrifying. Well, there we have it. The carnival. So close yet so far. Must gain entry. Must penetrate the fetch with mile high railings. I mean, those railings are hardly a mile high. Bastard narrator. Need lay eggs. We could always, you know, go through the main gate. A plan so crazy it might just work. I'm banging on the glass, it's his Jerry. Greetings, ticket buffoon! My name is Jerry, but okay, my great acquaintance. How can I help you today? I wish to gain entrance, Jerry of Ticket Booth. Well, if you wish to buy a ticket, what one? No, it's fine. I don't want to piss behind any of your rides this year. I simply wish to find a Fet fet something whole to live. I know words. Okay? Okay, you, you definitely need to buy a ticket from us if you want to do that. Rats! <laughs> How much would that cost? Two dollars. Fudge, I have zero. Tell me, young squire. Would you accept tales, stories, and other such whimsical parables as payment? No. No, I would not. Oh shoot, I was so close too. Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you that gremlin who lives in the tent next to the playground at the park? I know, my cover has been blown! Look, 
got one piece of indiscriminate species in general. I'm only tolerating this because of your stench. I'm just gonna drive away any customers if I, lo if I, if I let you loiter around here or uh, inhabit it. Unhit. I'm wording so goodly right now. It's Valentine's Day today. Valen what? Valentine's Day, isn't that for romantic people? Yeah, but why is he doing the Uwu thing? Yeah, but didn't you think that you have, that you have egg delay or some other bizarre drivel to that effect? Surely you have a mate of some kind if you're getting ready to play Hex as a sock under my mattress cow. <laughs> okay. I'm cutting to a chase and because I can take about three more dialogue options from you before my head can bust. Valentine's Day is safe for people who are, you know, in love. Love! What a god's green earth is that? Love is, well... Love is what happens when two grown up suck. Oh, I skipped it, oopsies. Love is when two romantic people want to go on romantic. <laughs> romantic ice cream dates drink all kinds of exotic elixirs and nectars together. Two grown ups are in love, they like joint bank accounts together and go to the movies to feed popcorn kernels to the rafted cockroach in there. What? One day he'll be your your take the kids away forever and go marry Steve, the guy in your accounting firm who works in the same cubicle as me but makes six times more than you and you can finally have a good night's sleep. That's love, my scary friend. And speaking of which, we have a fresh on today, just for Valentine's Day. Two tickets for the price of one, for couples who are in love. You can tell them if someone to bring you here, you can, I don't know. Oops. <laughs> I don't know, force them to pay you in, like a parasite. <laughs> Granted, that's like a real bastard doing mission acquired. Oh. <laughs> My sauce, mate. Okay. No, go do it. Away from here. Hey, Chicken Terry, are you by chance free on Valentine's Day? I will call for you. Oh man! Scuttle away. <laughs> That's me scuttling. <laughs> Dial down. Chapter 1 The Fun Fair Day. Oh, tent sweet tent. <laughs> to find the wolf functioning member of society that latch onto like a parasite, you have to leave your tent, you know. Ugh, do I have to? Yeah, it seems that gen that genuine bodily motion will be necessary today. Sorry about that. Oh damn. Finally minder. Yeah, I know. Cleaning NPC dialogue and player choice. This allows you to What the hell was that? Mm. Uptown Dialtown. Ah, uh, Uptown Dialtown. Home of everything and everyone. Not cool enough to be in Dial Down. Oh, oops. Downtown Dialtown. I only go to the cool people. Uptown. I mean downtown. Downtown. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, downtown dial town. Well, the air tastes like crystal meth, and crystal meth tastes like smoke. So what now? Talk to a nearby passerby. Oh, he's cool. Well, hello then. That was such a bad British accent. Oh no. <laughs> you need something then, mate. Who <laughs> you? Oh, you know beef me there, friend. I'm not going to do a British accent. I refuse. Is Nathan Hand over Hand over? Doctor? What does this say? Bloody well chuffed to make your acquaintance, oh yeah. Sorry, sorry for my ace debate, but I'm running quite late for a very important date. Well, alright, let me off with you then. Boy, get this done, so get one, watch him bloody have a farmer with chips. Well, it's me and you to. I did not want to have to read that. Hello? Hello? I'm sorry. Roger, I love you to death, man. But you've got to work on those. Are they gay? Are they in gay love? I know, Peter. It's just the green one is looking right at us. I think they want something. We'll turn around and ask a nice grumble what they want. Right, of course. Hey, nice to meet you, friend. The name's Roger. Hey, Roger, how about you bring me to the fun fair, eh? Oh, jeez, I'm flattered, really. Well, uh, lunch break just ended, so we gotta get back to work. What? Redhead. Firstly, my name's Peter. Is of little consequence to me. Yes. Secondly, no offense, but I'm married to Roger. Oh. Never mind. Oh, <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> what the hell? Whoops, my bad. Sorry, that's on me. Shit. Italian, my mortal nemesis. I don't speak that. <laughs> I'm cold going by Benini Mussolini himself. Once again? Please don't ask them any branching questions, Roger. Sorry, my my bad. Anyway. I have to answer any questions before I provided you ask quick. Lunch break will be over any minute now, and we're back on the clock. Gotta back, get back to work, you know? No, never you mind, I desire. No, never you mind what I will. But, hi. Never you mind what I desire, I will now depart. And then, hey, if you ever need a job, I will never work, never toil, never slave away from my daily bread. That's like a Jesus thing, right? I will die as I live, wearing the stolen bowling alley shoes. Goodbye, one and all, Roger and Peter. See you on the flip side. Nice meeting you, I guess. Mad they weren't gay. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? You have to notice something, anything that'll somehow help you get to that fun fair. Hmm, let's see. Okay, let me read the first advert aloud. Hiya, I'm Frogles the Clown. What the hell is this? Clown don't even exist anymore. But you do. But. 
Don't you believe in Bigfoot? Whole different kettle of fish. Bigfoot is real, clowns are not. Bigfoot is a barrel of free more. Bigfoot is feral ape man who lives in the woods and nervous by disposable camera photos. Exactly, he might as well be my uncle. Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses. How is that how is that any less easy to comprehend? You think clowns are people? Clowns don't lay eggs. People like oops. People don't lay eggs. You lay eggs. My point exactly. I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. With the red pulvis tumor attached to your face. That honks. They have gigantic shoes, and yet they they eat they eat, they they drive around in comically tiny cars. They blow up balloons and dance jigs at, at the drop of a hat. It's such absurd antics on oh, oh, It's such absurd antics on antics of menial. They truly are wretched creatures. Huh. No idea you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so should we skip over from the clown and bell? Okay, well, there's two adverts left then. Both six spotlight and a, a rent a chimpanzee service. It's your pick. <laughs> what did you. Both six spotlight all the way. Wait a second. Somehow, I don't think you're gonna get any luck with this one. What about? Do you have any better ideas? Consider again the bounce. We are calling the number. The nearest phone booth away! Oh, that was, that was a voice crack if I've ever had one. Oopsies. Alas, here we are. Dial Town's only phone booth. Since like half of all people got their heads replaced with the rotary phones, dare I say this thing has had much use since then. Honestly, this phone booth feels bigger on the inside. It seems so it contain far more filth than this one particular feeded box should be able to contain. Well, for starters, there's a strong smell of urine in here. All the buttons on the keypad are sticky with gum and there's a red raccoon on the floor. Wait. I'm gonna Google something for a specific reason. Can I name the raccoon? No, you'll just get attached. Is 
need to figure out what you gotta do now. Go scentless. So, what's the plan? Wait, isn't my head a working phone? You're only just remembering now that your head is a telephone? I didn't hear you suggesting using it. I don't exist. You're standing in a telephone. Standing in a phone with the line, I think it's dead record. That's a name we all know! <laughs> Fine, let's just make the call. <laughs> oh, this has been going for 20 minutes. Oh, shit, that actually seemed to work. <laughs> it was, it's egg time! Hi! <laughs> forces me to say that. I really should. I sh really should have just lied about my name. I feel you, man. I just want to lay my eggs in peace. Wait, did you say you lay eggs? <laughs> ah, Randy. I love him. Anyway. Yeah, I lay eggs in the bird. Vivian, maybe. Wait, do you like an amphibian or something? Legally, probably not. I mean, I like damp and dark space as much as the next egg layer. But honestly, am I really am? Why do I keep on doing that? Am I really amphibious? Pretty sure simply being hard to drown doesn't count. No, I don't have scales. But I would vomit a half decision vehicle into my baby's pie holes. For the sake of my, that argument, let's just say I'm a hideous, fabulous bird. Hey, that, that's okay. I can feel funny, obviously, as a bird for my main job. Main job? You mean this isn't your job? I mean, of course it's one of my jobs, but it's only a side job. I so pay my rent, which is laughably high. So what exactly is your main job then? During the day, I work as a bird wrangler for Dial 10 Animal Control. I'm kinda in the middle of the subway. Oh, I'm kinda in the middle of doing a hostile swan right now. You're f this what? Wait, did you just say you're fighting a swan? I mean, something I'm fighting a swan is more than I'm. Trying my darndest to subdue and capture it before it wreaks havoc. You sound like you're crying. I can't let this all this good to see. Where he knows it's physically and mentally stronger than me. I can't let us all know that it's also emotionally stronger too. I'm sorry, I I got caught up in all this long talk. You see, most customers you know call later. Only weirdos tend to want to talk to me with a complete stranger on their lunch break during a 12 hour shift at the downtown battery factory. I mean, no offense. The local battery factory, you say? Would you rate the factory as a nesting for heavily pregnant friends' eggs? I mean, is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Hey, can you be a swan fact? Swans are terrifying. There's just one fact. That doesn't sound so I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know what you want from me! This is normal, huh? I don't know what you want from me. Sorry, sorry. Anything else you wanted to talk about? The biggest comfy truth is. Is it your sexuality or your dating policy? Are you kidding me? If I found someone so willing to tolerate my friend, that's marriage material. That, or they're trying to act nice because they're trying to steal my organs. Fool me once. Huh, <laughs> in that case, can you take me to the bunk bed, please? Are, are, you, are you asking me out on a 
words to live by. So, when do you want to do this? This right now. I mean, I'm kind of at work right now, and you know, this one is not I am heavily pregnant. Yeah, you know, it's now I am a Randy. Alright, yes, I can leave it here. Take your time, my sweet. What time is this going to be? It's better if I just run. So I get also an in the cards for the cells. So one, massacre and desperation. And my... <laughs> if I had a Nigeria Arx later, I would just say that the squad won. It always does anyway. I did the fun with my sweet. Oh, I love him. See, see you later. Oh. Well then, looks like you've weaseled your way into the fun part after all. Eggs! Not yet, Gaspar. Soon. Come on, let's go. Got a date to attend. <laughs> 